Ladies and gentlemen, we're here for the PBW half. Yeah. <laughs> God, I, I honestly can't wait. Yeah, time for the PBW section, and we are kicking off with... The Monster No, as Rocks, versus Yui Nishimura. Time for some more good shit. That, that one had layers to it. The very layered burp. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. No clue why the ring announcer didn't say Rox's name, but here's Rox. She is here to ruin your entire day. Again, one of the three matches on the card were nothing online, but looking forward to it still. And her opponent from Japan, Yuri Nikita Maria. And here comes Yui Nishimura. The J-Pop Shoot Fighter. Some of the harder strokes going. No doubt about that. We're going to see how she's going to fare with this test, though, against Rox. Good counter. One, two. Oh, if that would have been it in the first match. Another roll up. Some chain wrestling, which I didn't expect from rocks. All people. But she did very much dominate it. Which I did expect from rocks of all people. So this shots from both of them. Good clothesline there. Rocks with that scooping slam though. Pl 
Clothesline over the top. Yui joining Rocks on the outside. Remember, there is a 20 count. Slamming rocks right into the apron. For a good armbow stretch. Trent's weaken rocks' power, which I don't blame Yui for trying to do. It's a very smart move. And Yui is going to the top rope and calling Rocks up for something. Oh! I don't know if she knocked you off the rope or if Yui just missed the drop kick, but either way. Rocks. Oh my god, just barrel through there with that shoulder tackle. <laughs> Runs right into that boots as Huey. And Rock's looking for the Rock's drop. Jesus Christ. One, two, Yui kicks out though. Which I am actually surprised by. Went for the... Went for the kick in it, I think, but just missed. There we go. Falling rocks. One, two, three. All the hard rocks or whatever. Point is, rocks won. She, she ate Yui, basically. Just consumed her soul. And Rocks wins because, of course. Next up, this will decide the number one game. Yeah, Rocks wins. Rocks always wins. Rocks wins a lot. Uh, this one will decide the number one contenders for the Women's Tag Championships. TBA versus the Grey Hats. I don't think anyone saw either of these teams making it this far, to be honest, but uh, it's nice to have something new.
the way to the ring, Romy and Suzuki, AK-47, Snow, the Triangle of Terror. And here come TBE, which actually doesn't stand for anything. I've asked the, like, because Graves created these two and the TB stable, I asked him what it meant, uh, meant and he says it doesn't mean nothing. It's just TBE, it doesn't stand for anything. is weird. Next up, we have the Grey Hats, though. Who I think could very well maybe win this match, probably. I don't know. I mean, they could win this match. They could win the titles, come to fight the gods. There's only one way to find out. So for Kyoko from CBE, although that kick rolled either up to weaken the legs of Kyoko Remy. Leg. An erotic poem. Leg so hot. Hot, hot leg. Leg so hot you fry an egg. <laughs> That's such a fucking stupid thing. Anyway, Eva's tagged in New York. Good cancer from Kyoko. And, ooh, I thought she had her over, but she drove her face first. Right! into the turnbuckle with her knees. Look for that 619 around the ring post. I don't think that version of it has a name. Anyway, head first. Into the mat over and over again. Back of head first. Working over the arm. Good moves there from Kyoko. As we're in the corner. Oh, I think. Just shoes. She was about to go for something. Yuri recovered. Now Yuri going for that around the corner. Six one nine once again. And been hit with something. Oh, elbow dropped to the back. Well, Kyoko was trying to crawl to Suzuki to get the tag. 
And the double super kick, one of Fiori's best moves into the pen. One, two. Good pull of the nose from Kyoko. Not really taking any chances. Reverse EET from Yuri. Oh, dropped right into the steps. Remember, there's a 20 count, too. Two trading kicks on the outside. Nine. Ten. Yeah, with some good stumps to the back. And no drop kick right to the leg. And that knee first driver again. She's caught Yuri a couple of times with that now. Oh, what a close line there. And Kyoko finally tags in Suzuki Sano. This is the first time Sano has been in the match all day. And Ayo started this match, but she hasn't been back in it in a while. And Yuri looking for the Yuri York minute. One, two, Suzuki kicks out. Way too fresh for that. Do we go and look for another one? And she does. One, two, three. The Grey Hats get the victory. No, this. The PBW side has been fucking weird. Solid match, are your I guess. Winners, Evelyn General and Yuri, you're the Grinders. Grey Hats will be challenging for those women's tag championships. Taking on the Killer Queens. That's the names of the current champions. I didn't forget that. Speaking of championship stuff though, Johnny Gemini vs Raimundo, the winner will challenge for the International Championship at Fire the Gods. Hopefully this one's good, because I feel like this one's going to be good.
making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 207 pounds, Griffin Johnny G. Here comes Johnny G, baby. He's a legit favorite of mine. I really like Johnny Gemini. I like his character. I like his look. I like the sticker on his knee. I do think it would be weird if he ever took off his glasses. We just find out he's been blind the whole time. The Big Ham. I like the fact that his nickname's Big Ham. Yeah, here comes the Big Ham. Raymond, Raymond, Raymond O. Raymond, Raymond, Raymond O. Raymond O, let's go. Raymond, Raymond, Raymond O. Raymond O, let's go. So from both of them. Broken water from Ramdi. Oh, we can wanna. I said the Hurricane Rana. Also got cheesy nibbles. That was B. For Bravo and not P for piss. Aero hey, Johnny was clotheslined into the corner. Raymondo with a big leg drop. Oh, elbow drop right to the back. Get combo there from Johnny. Two having a good back and forth. Oh, good knee from Johnny. Oh, went for that rolling clothesline, but Raymondo ducked under and slaps. Right across the face and a good drop kick to the leg. The double knee is right to the back. But Raymundo wisely rolled out. Johnny looking for the fame, sir. Fujiwara armbar. Raymondo has put a lot of people away with this. Has it done a lot of damage to the arms? Johnny gets out too. Although Raymondo almost effortlessly into the Pork Fat Express. But they're missing a beat. One, two, Johnny kicks out.
That was a good series of moves from Johnny, and that bell clock was good too. Here's that kick though. Well, that big lariat. Oh, half and half. Suplex. Half and half back suplex from Johnny. Oh, Johnny's bleeding. He's busted open on the apron there. Rimoto looking for another Pork Fat Express, maybe? And he gets it. That could be enough, especially after he made him bleed. One, two, three, Raimundo is going to the Fire of the Gods as well. That was actually a really good match. Raimondo could be holding the championship by the end of Defy the God 3. Uh. What a scary notion that is. Do 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 do. Speaking of which. Tag team titles on the line. Jalen Disciples versus the Lancers. The winners will take on the Pain Makers at the Father God 3 for the PBW Tag Team Championships. I don't know why I did an ass ah sound, all I did was scratch my head a bit. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, the Beast and King, the Natural Disasters. Shelling Disciples. Making a slam boy into an entrance as ever. I'm been around long, but imagine if they're able to get this victory, that would, I mean, that would mean a title shot. At the biggest show I have each year, every year. Look 
Legacy. And here they are, the former and longest reigning PBW Tag Team Champions. Caesar Stone and John Spartacus. Just two big meaty men. Dude, I'm not booking myself to win. You have to remember, Caesar Stone is my uh, my last uh, great wrestler. Also, I want a munching on. It's half cheesy nibbles and half prawn cocktail flavored Pringles. trying to snack less and focus on losing weight again, so... Huh. Anyway, the Lancers... Caesar... Oh, Caesar eats that big soup kick there from Hiromu Tomagoya. Who immediately went for the legs of Caesar was too close to the rope. Knocks right to the outside. One, two, three. The knee right to the ribs, boys, he's a stone. You have to wonder if John is going to get involved in some way. Good catch of the chop there from Caesar. Eight. Oh, spear to Caesar Stone. Sort of mocking him because that's usually Caesar and John's finisher. At the catch of 11, they get back in. Thank God for 20 counts. Well, how am I looking to weaken the body a bit more? Teaser so doing a good job preventing that tag attack. And is he going to get the first tag of the match? He does, in comes Spartacus. Is Rama going to reach for Surakang? He's not able to. Oh my god! The spears right through him. And that big reverse power bomb. Close line in the corner. And the fall of Rome that early? Into the pin. Can breaks up the pin. And Caesar murders the referee. Because Caesar is a godless fuck. And Spartacus looking for. The Zensurian spin. Oh no! Good counter from Hiroma Tomagoya. I don't know the name of Hiroma's furniture, but he just landed it. One, two. See, so a uh, spot has kicked out. Excuse me.
Doing a bit more damage to the shoulder area. Trying to weaken the spear a little bit. With a couple of clotheslines. And the drop kick. Oh, good belly to belly there. Because, bah, Pony. He was looking for a tag, but wasn't able to get it. Now he's able to get it, and are they looking for it? They do, Parabellum. Oh, there was a miscommunication. Kang wasn't able to kick uh, to break the pen, but Hiroma kicked out of a tag finisher. Could you imagine such a silly thing? Comes Rosura Kang, bit of a fresher opponent in this match. Caesar hitting Kang with the stone cuts it. And yes, I thought Kang reversed it, but Caesar was just like delaying it a little bit too. Kang kicks out. <laughs> Good arm lock there, but Kang able to break his way out. And hip toss to close that. Stone, unable to reach Sparkers for the tag. Rolls out though. Oh, the stone wall. Pin. One, two. Can kicked out. There's one of Caesar's finishers in case you didn't know. from Rosura Kang. Oh, what a kick. And the big rolling elbow. And the shell and disciples looking for the stampede. Ten. One. Two. Caesar kicks out. Spikus and Kang getting into it. Spikus actually slamming Kang's head over and over on the turnbuckle. <coughs> Whoa! 
what a sling blade there from Hiromu Tomagoya. Oh, it gets the hot tag. Here comes Spartacus. Big boot. Oh, hell of a shot there. Another boot before Hiromu can even finish getting back up. He gets the hot tag into Kang. Big shot. Went for the kick but missed. It's a clothesline. And another one. Fall of Rome. Kang is busted open. One. Two. No. The Centurion Spear. That has to be it. Two. Three. The Lancers finally get another chance. What a match that was. Here are your winners, Caesar Stone and John Spectacular Legacy. The Lancers will have a chance of revenge again against the Painmakers. We still have some more matches to go as well. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna get into the tissue for me nose and such. Anyway, next up is probably going to be another really good match. Catherine Love versus Babe Dylan. Should probably get a war too. Making her way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, the prestigious women's champion, Catherine Love, champion. So I came back and just sat down and accidentally bashed my elbow off uh, one of my one of the um, ear things for my headphones one of the and phones off the headphones from Las Vegas, Nevada Babe Dylan It also accidentally caused my Twitch window to shut down but I got it back up. It's, stream it's still streaming on the console, which is the important thing, but still, anyway. Uh. Babe Dylan, pardon me.
Babe Dylan, extremely talented, very likable, favourite of mine. Up against uh, Catherine Love, the current PBW Women's Champion. And big stuff for Catherine. Good job breaking there from Babe into the crossbody. Good hip attack there on the shoulders. Good surfboard stretch there. Catherine toughing it out, really good stuff. Good kick to the back boy, babe. Catherine Love looking ever dominant as always. And the heartbreak. And not wasting any time. Go for a big knee drop. And right into the touch of love. Great sequence of moves from Catherine. Into the bin. But they kicked out somehow. It sounded like I burped there for a second. I didn't. I just said but in a weird way. It was in B-U-T, not B-U-T-T. Standing corkscrew moonsault. Babe looking for out of the mouths. One, two, Catherine kicked out. Dylan, it's into that. Big clothesline. Don't feel it right now, Mr. Krabs. 
getting stomped to the back of the head and rubbing Catherine's face into the mat. Big spine buster from Catherine. Close line. Another one. And that good drop kick ended it, but Babe rolled out. Oof, that knee. That does have a name, I just don't remember it. Two, three? I mean, in this match it didn't really matter, but I guess I sort of wanted Babe to win more. Then again, Catherine does have to defend her title out to fight the gods three, so it's probably smarter that she won. Catherine Love heading into Defy the Gods 3 so, so, with some serious momentum in her back pocket. But now we have the main event, the last match before Defy the Gods 3. Two out of three falls match. I really hope I made it that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Yamaa. I I really hope I made the two out three falls. Making his way to the ring from Owina, Japan, weighing in at two hundred. All right, so the ring announcer didn't say, Yamashita. which makes me think it could be two or three falls. We'll find out. Thing is, even if I didn't make it two or three falls, just a one-on-one -on -one match will do, because I don't want to re-fucking start everything just to make it two or three falls. The fact is, the winner's getting a chance at William Black and to fight the Gods 3 for the PBW World Championship. That is the point of this match. But still, the last time that Yamashita and Drake had a match, Yamashita snapped Drake's long-time PBW World Championship reign in what is still my favourite match of PBW versus AVW. Like the first season of PBW and AVW, you know, technically season 3 for just PBW, but yeah, that two out, three, two out of three falls match at War of Attrition was fucking great. I often forget how long his entrance is.
from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 225 pounds, Drake Harrison. Um, I don't think I burped there, sneakers. I did wipe my nose, but... I don't know if I did, but anyway, uh, I might have and just missed it. But still, here comes Drake Harrison, the former PBW World Champion. Still technically the longest reigning, I think. Well, as I say, I say still technically the longest reigning. He lost the title to you, to Yamashita. Still going to be a good friendly match between these two, I'm hoping. Good saw from Drake, though. Now, in their two at three falls match, Drake got the first fall, then Yama got two straight. Good headbutt from Drake. I don't see that coming from him a lot. Good kick from Yamashita. I think it really benefits, um, I think, I think the slow methodical pace really benefits Randy Orton. But he's not in this match, so in this case it probably benefits Yamashita a bit more. Also, if you're wondering what that glinking sound was, for some reason I jerked my head and the microphone on my headset clinked against the cup of water I'm currently drinking. I don't, I don't know why my body did that, but... Anyway, Jack Harrison has a great... The Brain Buster! <laughs> good. Couple of suplexes there from Drake. That was really good. Looking for a top rope reverse STO. Chopper up flatliner. Just a one. Good drop kick from Drake. He landed a lot of those on Yamashita during that match. To the corner they go. Good drop kick. Oh, Lariat from Drake. You tell he's been watching his old Japan. Good stomp to the arm. Kick right to the back. Baker's starting to get rolled up, starting to feel the energy. The referee jumped out of the way a bit there. Drake goes for a... Oh! Inverted Phoenix Splash. Not another move you seem to a lot, but goddamn. Although, Yama caught that kick. Turns Drake around. Into the corner. Close line. Right to the back of the head. Good neck breaker from Yama. And ooh, rolls up. Do a splash one, just one. Ooh, okay, I think Drake tried to duck under that lariat but sort of caught some. Tour of the Islands connects fully. Without wasting any time, Yama going for 
Quite possibly the power bomb lung blower. Into the pin. One, two. Drake kicks out. Good spinning elbow there from Yamashita. Lip strike up. In for a gut wrench power bomb. And that elbow again. Thought it would go a couple of those too. Staying on top of Drake as well, but. Oh, Drake. Good cancer. Close lines the armor right over the top rope. Good drop kick right to like this has been a fucking great match. Series of strikes from Drake. Good elbow from Yama. <laughs> Drake with the masterful dodging of the slap by not moving. Playing head games with the Yamashita. Low snap suplex from Drake. Always oh, thinking about the Red Wing knee. And it connects. One. Yamashita kicks out though. Kick to the stomach. One. Two and neckbreaker. Kick to the back. He's landed to go a couple of those to Yamashita's back. And the heroic kick and Yamashita's busted open, much like in their previous match. At War of Attrition. Two. It is two out of three falls and Drake got the first one. Thank God. I mean, thank God I made it through at three falls. It's going to play it the same way, though. And Drake is going to look for the single bound. And the last time he hit Yama with this and went for the pin, Yama did kick out. Will it ring true again? One, two. No, Drake Harrison. Two and O oh, is going to take on William Black at, at uh, to fight the gods. He will have a chance to get his title back. No shame in that though, absolutely great match between these two. I swear every time these two, like this is only their second match but they put on an absolute banger. Here is your winner, Drake Harrison. And Drake Harrison will be going to defy the gods three. And that was the last match of this go home show. 
I will see you all not this coming Friday, possibly the Friday after, because I have so much shit to work on. But to tidy people over while I'm working on attires and things like that and other matches to set up, I will be posting in the uh, in my Discord channel and in CWL, why the hell not, the logo for the arena that Blitz made for Defy the Gods 3 because it looks fucking amazing. And I can't wait for you all to see it, but you're going to have to wait for the arena. I will show the logo, though. So, yeah, I'll see you in a couple of weeks for Defy the Gods 3, my biggest show of the year. What a go-home show this was. Thank you specifically, Mr. Sneakers, and to anyone else who tuned in for watching. You're all incredible. Have a good night. I can't wait. For, I can't wait for the show. I just can't.